What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Barbie Sex, the big one, not the little one. If you're already turning subscriber, welcome back, baby. If you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And also on top of that, make sure y'all turn on y'all post notifications so y'all get notified every time your girl posts a video. So today's video is gonna be a stripper vlog, and today is Tuesday. It is April 2nd. I do have an errand to run today. I want to go to the mall because I want to get some skincare because my face has been breaking out so freaking bad. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's been breaking out super freaking bad. And I also want to try to see if I can find some um a product for my dark marks. So we are going to the mall today. If y'all know any good products that y'all use or have heard that is really good, please make sure y'all comment below and let your girl know the products because right now my skin is going through it. <laughs> and I know y'all probably tired of seeing the twist, okay? Because I'm tired of seeing the twist myself. And I know what y'all probably thinking in your head. Y'all probably over there thinking, like, girl, I thought you said in the last vlog, next time we see you, you ain't gonna have them twisting your head no more. Shut up all right <laughs> shut up like i'm taking the twist out today not today i'm taking them i'm gonna take the twist out tomorrow i did ended up getting my wig in the mail today so i'm just super excited about that because the twist gotta go all right the twist been in since march 1st yeah march 1st so it's been like a whole month since i had these twists in y'all so it's definitely time um i will show y'all the wig but i'm gonna wait till tomorrow to show y'all that when i actually put the whole wig on but y'all let's go run this errand right quick before it gets late because it's already 5 30 okay i don't think the mall closed to like 7 8 anyways but that's besides the point i ain't trying to be out all night all right <laughs> all right y'all so i've made it to the mall and there's barely anybody here as y'all can tell in the parking lot there is barely anybody here we love that okay i love a good mall day where no one's in the mall and i could just grab my things and head out so let's go up in here get our skincare come in go out all right so let's get it all right guys so i'm back from ulta and let me just show you guys everything that had got i actually did not go crazy the way i thought i was going to <laughs> because when i first got up in there i told the lady i said excuse me can i get a little basket but then i had to think about it. i'm like hold on barbie hold on baby hold on pop the brakes you up in here for one thing and i had thought about it and i was like you know what let me go ahead and put this basket to the side and let me just get my one two things that i was coming in here for so let me just show you everything that i had got from ulta i ended up putting a lot of things back because i realized that i really didn't even need half of the stuff that was in my basket i'm gonna hold y'all though when it comes to ulta you better make sure you want everything that's in that basket because by the time you get up to the uh register it's gonna be high as hell okay <laughs> let me show you everything that your girl got from ulta everything that i got was skincare products and i'm super proud of myself because i did go to the makeup aisle y'all <laughs> I went to the makeup aisle and I was just like, uh, no, we not in here for this skincare only. But I do want to say I did really, really good when I went up in there because usually when I go on Ulta, y'all, I can spend a check real quick if I don't go in there with a mindset of everything that I'm going to get. But your girl did end up only spending $30.07. And that's honestly not bad if I do say so myself, okay? <laughs> that's actually really, really good. So, so the first thing that I had got from Ulta was this discoloration correcting serum by Good Molecules. And let me just take it out the box so you guys can actually see what it looks like. And it, so this is what it looks like outside of the box. And on here it says it's supposed to improve the appearance of hyperpigmentation and dark spots. 
we gonna put you to the test, all right? We gonna see if you gonna do what you say you gonna do. I don't know if you guys can tell. Well, maybe I can. I have a whole lot of dark marks and I'm just trying to get my skin really, really clear. So if y'all have used that serum before, comment down below and let me know how y'all like it. So the second thing that I had got was from The Ordinary. This is hyaluronic acid. I've used this before. It works really, really good. This is what it looks like outside of the box. And on here it says it's a hydration support formula with hyaluronic acid, pro vitamin B5 and ceramides. I have used this before and I really really like it this is honestly like my third bottle okay I'm gonna hold y'all this is definitely like a holy grail for me I love hyaluronic acid I feel like it's really good for putting that hydration back into your skin the last thing that I had got was these blotting papers by Beauty Bakery I've actually never heard of her before but this is gonna be my first time using blotting papers like ever you dry skin girls and you are most to combination skin girls y'all is so freaking lucky that's all I'm gonna say y'all so freaking lucky y'all not walking around here looking like a glazed donut okay so y'all I'm at my breaking point with my oily skin I've tried everything from cleansers to serums to everything moisturizers and literally nothing is working <laughs> so this is like literally my last resort blotting papers okay let me just show y'all how freaking oily my skin be let me get a little closer y'all freaking see the amount of oil like this is crazy do y'all see what I'm talking about like I cannot make this up y'all I hate this for myself I honestly do but y'all that is everything that I had got from Ulta I'm about to go ahead and make me some dinner take my shower and lay down because I do have class tomorrow so I'll see y'all tomorrow what's up you guys so today is the next day actually it's a couple days later today is thursday it is april 4th and i know you girls looking a little crazy right now i had to got my twist earlier today because it was definitely time like i didn't even need nobody to tell me my hair looked a mess i knew my hair looked a mess okay <laughs> but i do want to say thank you so much Eunice, for sponsoring today's video so Eunice has sent me over this glueless wig and y'all honestly i'm not a fan of glueless wigs but when it comes to Eunice they snap every single time so let's just get straight into it <laughs> so they did send your girl over this glueless wig and let me just show y'all what the wig is looking like but y'all can we get into the packaging though like you need y'all really stepped up to our game like i see y'all i see y'all all right y'all so let's just get straight into everything that came inside the box because it came with a lot of stuff okay so it did come with two hd wig caps it also came with an elastic band with their logo on it y'all oh my god why they sent over some press on nails <laughs> what press on nails is crazy i'm not really a press on nail type of girl but i don't know maybe i'll try them they're cute <laughs> y'all and they sent your girl a robe i must knew i needed a robe all right y'all so this is the wig outside of the box we got a little highlight situation going on <laughs> Oh my God, this is gonna be cute. So this is a glueless wig, so you're supposed to just be able to pop it on, add a little makeup, and be ready to go. Y'all, so this is what it's looking like on. Obviously, it's giving wig, all right? It's giving wig, we ain't trying to give wig. So I'm gonna add my little touches to it right quick. They do come with these little side tabs right here. So I am gonna go in with some concealer. I'm gonna be using the Ruby Kiss Cream Foundation. And then on top of that, I'm gonna just spray some got to be glue on top of the lace until it dry. <laughs> All right, y'all, so this is the final results. What do y'all think? <laughs> I think she is super freaking cute, y'all. She's eating the girls up. Like, I just love a good highlighted wig. Like, I don't know. It's just something about a highlighted wig that does it, does it for me every single time, okay? So this is a glueless wig. So if you do not want to use glue, you don't have to. The only reason why I use glue is because, one, my head is big. <laughs> Number two, I don't know. I just like the security that comes with a glue down wig. So, so I did use a former glue. I didn't use the actual glue though. Overall, y'all, the process of installing the wig, easy as hell, okay? So I went in with my foundation and I had tint in my lace. Don't forget to do that, ladies. Don't forget to tint your lace, all right? Because if y'all don't tint your lace, it's gonna give wig, all right? Tint your lace. I had went in with some got to be spray and I had sprayed, sprayed my lace, let it dry down for like a good minute or so. Then after I took the band off, the wig was pretty much on already. All I had to do was just stop. But I did add a little bit more curls in there just to give it a little bit more body. And I had went in with my hot comb, you know what I'm saying? Had to get the top of that wig because... 
even though it's a wig i don't want it to look like a wig you feel me and but this is the final results y'all i think it looks super freaking pretty really easy to install y'all i'm just super excited to see how much money this wig is gonna make us this weekend because it's so cute like it's getting boss it's getting baddie the quality of this hair is a1 the hair is super soft and it holds a curl i just want to say thank you so much Eunice hair for sending me over this beautiful glueless wig i'm gonna make sure i drop all the information down below on this wig and thank you so much Eunice hair for sending me over this beautiful wig i'm literally in love <laughs>
And then around like 2.33, I want to say like two sections ended up coming in the club last night. And when I tell y'all last night was full of females, it was full of females. No, don't get me wrong now. I most definitely appreciate my female customers as well as my male customers. But if you know, you know, like when it comes to females versus males females are a little harder to make expend money than it is a male like when it comes to a male a male gonna flop every time like a male gonna flop every single time females it's a little harder to make them spend money because females have more sense than males i ended up getting picked again in this one section y'all and oh my god that section was just so freaking horrible like all of them was drunk as hell for one then for two why they was picking up our money and rethrowing it and then on top of that they was from miami I know y'all know better. So why y'all coming up in here, act like y'all don't know that that's a rule to not pick up the money and re-throw it. That's like recycling money. That's weird. I cannot stand when people come in the club and they be acting like they don't know that you can't pick up the money and re-throw it. Like, are you dumb? You feel what I'm saying? Like, are you really dumb for real? So that ended up happening. And then on top of that, they didn't even have enough money. They were so drunk, y'all. They were sloppy drunk. It's a difference from being drunk and being sloppy drunk. They were sloppy drunk. One of the girls was falling all over the place. The other girl was trying to run behind her trying to figure out where she was going the other girl was sleeping in a section it was ghetto as hell okay <laughs> i can't stand a woman who cannot hold her like a male or female but when it comes to a female it just looks so much worse but then later on in the night an nba player and his team ended up coming in and i'm just so thankful and grateful for them because if it was not for them y'all if it was not for them i'm telling you the club that i work at would be in flames right now do you hear me it'll be in flames because what you mean i didn't make my tip out back like stuff like that just don't sit right with my soul like so they ended up getting in a section and i ended up getting picked it was me my home girl and three other girls and i was just so irritated about it y'all let me tell y'all why i was irritated so for one they ended up getting five thousand dollars all right and we ain't even going to get into the how much i ended up getting out of the section because you already know I didn't get the amount that I was supposed to get but that's neither here nor there which I'm not happy about but y'all just know that's just what I'm dealing with right now at the club I work at but here was the problem the problem became a problem when they chose this one girl to be in a section usually I'm not a mean girl like I'm not that type of girl that's gonna tell you you can't come in a section or try to get the dudes to get you kicked out of the section that's not me that's not even my character never been that type of girl never will be that type of girl but this one particular girl that they picked to be in a section I knew for a fact that that they needed to kick her out the section but because of the type of girl she was and because of her worth ethnic this particular girl she's the type of girl that feels like she don't have to do too much because i'm cute she's one of those girls but at the end of the day boo we all cute you're not the only girl that's cute if you really want to talk about it you're not even cute for real you look dusty every time you come up in here your hair's never done you look like you don't even take baths for real like you're not all that and so for the simple fact that her mind she be feeling like she don't have to work hard because she this and she that is beyond me you look a mess so when i had picked her in a section all off rip I was irritated off rip I was irritated because it was already five girls in a section and they ended up picking her my whole thing is if you was gonna pick a sixth girl at least pick a girl that was actually gonna dance this type of girl right here she thinks she's too cute to where she don't have to dance and even when she do dance she don't know how to dance like she's one of those girls who vibrate when they dance like she she's not nothing's jiggling nothing's jiggling so I told the dude I'm like y'all sure y'all want her and the dude I was talking to he was like I don't want her I don't even know who chose her for real <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I think they picked her because they felt bad for her. And like I said, I'm not a mean girl. Like, I'm really a girl's girl. I'm not a mean girl at all whatsoever. She, she just do too much. And on top of that, she got a bad attitude. So I was just in my head. I'm just like, you know what? Screw it. She already over here. It's already six girls on a bag. It's only $5,000. Like, that don't even make sense for real. Whatever. They want her over here. It's nothing I can do. This ain't my money. Whatever. So as the night go on, I noticed that she's not in the section that she's walking around. And even when she do come in the section, she's just standing there with her fan going like this so i tap on her and i'm like ma'am excuse me miss is you gonna do something you know what i'm saying like is you gonna dance like we haven't seen you the whole night i'm not even trying to be mean but if you like not do nothing and if you don't dance or if you don't stay at least stay in the section we're gonna get you put off the bag because at this point you're just here for no reason so y'all tell me why she ended up getting mad she was like y'all so weird that's why i don't come to this club y'all always trying to put a girl off the bag because y'all be mad i got chose what you mad for what you mad for i'm like yo what the hell <laughs> like like first of all why you got so much energy like i 
I came up to you and I pulled you to the side to where it wouldn't look like we arguing. And, and that's exactly what you're trying to do right now. You're trying to argue. You're trying to cause a scene. Do you not know they got $5,000 right now? You're trying to argue with me? Only thing I'm telling you to do is make sure you over here at least because if you're not, we're going to get you put off the bag. Okay? That's all I was saying is make sure you're here at least. You don't have to be doing nothing because you barely did anything, but make sure you're doing something at least. You, so she ended up causing a big scene, so I ended up just stepping away from her because I was like, I don't got time for this. Like, you want to cause a scene, they got $5,000, you bugging. I'm trying to make sure you don't get put off the bag, trying to put you on. But since you want to be stupid, be my guest. But y'all, let me show y'all this money come from last night. And like I said, if it wasn't for this NBA team, y'all, last night would have been looking real scary for me. I'm not even going to hold y'all because nobody even came in the freaking club last night. I'm just like, what is going on? And then the people that was in the club, they was acting so broke. They was acting like they were scared to break a dollar, okay? <laughs> it just was not given. So let me just show y'all what I made last night on a Friday. I don't know if I want to go back to work tonight because last night was just so freaking weird. If I do go back to work tonight, I'm going to get a club to like 3.30. 3.34, not even 4. I feel like I'm going to get a club to 3 o'clock. If by 3 o'clock nobody up in it, I'm going to leave because I'll just be feeling like I'll be wasting my time at this point. All right, y'all, so let's do this money count. So this is what we made last night on a Friday. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800. And then these are some leftover ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So last night we made $812 on a Friday, which is not bad because honestly, it was so dead up in the club last night. Like, I'm just so grateful to make this because, y'all, if it was not for that NBA team, y'all, I would be somewhere in the corner crying. Do you hear me? <laughs> One thing I don't play about is my tip out. I better at least make my tip out. Like, my minimum is $500, but I better at least make my tip out, okay? <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to go to work tonight, y'all. Nine times out of ten, I probably will end up going because, I mean, there's nothing else to do and I want to make me some more money i just feel like that wasn't enough because the goal was a thousand dollars so nine times out of ten i'm gonna probably end up going back to work tonight it is this club that i want to try out that's in another state i think i'm gonna end up going there next weekend if i don't go next weekend i'm gonna go the weekend after to the next because this whole money situation that's going on in my club right now I can't even take it. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like, everybody got bills at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, the day gotta end, okay? So, with that being said, um, I need to figure out, like, what I'm gonna do as far as clubs. I, I wanna try to find a new club that's closer to me. But where I'm at, everything is kind of far. So, I do have to drive to everything. But it is this club that's not that, that far from me, but still kind of far. But I'm gonna try that club out really, really soon. And I'm gonna let y'all know how I feel about the club, y'all. Because this whole money situation going on where I work at right now is just getting ridiculous by the day. Like... It's to the point where I'm just ready for summer so I can be gone. Like, when I tell y'all this club is not going to see me, this club is not going to see me. I'm, but y'all, it is 11 o'clock, so I'm about to go ahead inside, take my shower, eat, and lay down. I do have a play to go to later on today for my school. So I need to get me some rest so I can be energized for that. But I'm going to see y'all later on today when I get ready to go to work. <laughs> What's up, you guys? So today is the next day. Today is Saturday. It is April 6th, and it is 10.32, and your girl just got done doing her hair, doing her makeup, and I'm ready to hit the door. So, yeah, I don't really know what to expect out of tonight because nothing's really going on in the city, but that's okay because usually the nights where nothing's going on, the nights be good. So I ain't even going to trip about that. But y'all, the goal for tonight is a thousand dollars. Okay, yesterday's goal was a thousand dollars, and we only made eight hundred. But that's okay because we had no control over that. Okay, <laughs> today is Saturday. The people should be outside. I be trying to give people grace for Fridays because I just be thinking like maybe they be tired from work. You know? But Saturday, y'all have literally no excuse. Don't nobody work on Saturday. Okay, unless you like a fast food worker or something like that. But y'all know what I'm trying to say. Don't nobody work on Saturday. So make sure y'all popping out like. <laughs> so I'm hoping everybody pop out tonight because last night it was a shit show last night it was just so dead up in there i'm really glad that i walked out with the amount of money that i walked out with literally it was some girls that didn't even make their tip out back and i just know they went home crying like i just know they did <laughs> like for real so the goal for tonight is a thousand dollars and the minimum is 500 i was just thinking about something though y'all let me just tell y'all what was on my mind right quick before i head to work but i was just thinking i was just like hmm I'm happy that there are girls 
at the strip club that do leave with men because that means I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it was so funny. Yesterday I was at work and I was talking to this girl and I was just like, yeah, I know him. And she was like, how you know him? I was like, because he be coming here all the time spending money. That's how I know him. She was like, you be having sex with him? And I was like, no. And then she was like, oh, I'm just asking because if you not, I will. And I was just like, uh, <laughs> okay, sister girl, like you playing no games. Like, and I was just thinking, I was just like, I'm just so happy there's girls at the strip club that, that does stuff like that because that means I don't have to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That means I don't have to do it. I wasn't going to do it regardless. So I was really just like, I'm kind of happy some of y'all do sell y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because that means I ain't got to sell mine. Like, that works out perfectly. <laughs> I don't like the girls that do it because at the end of the day, get your bread. But personally, me, baby, I'm not doing it. Like, I don't feel like it's never that serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, to sell your soul for some money, that means you'll do anything for some money but like i said i'm not knocking the girls who do it y'all wish your girl a fat crazy stupid bag a peaceful bag and let the money flow to us naturally and if you girls have not grabbed y'all ebooks make sure that y'all grab your ebooks okay because my ebook is lit all right let's just talk about it my ebook is lit as hell it's going to teach you how to make a thousand dollars in one night and you're going to be happy you join the money team when you do okay so make sure y'all go to that description box down below y'all click on that link and y'all purchase your ebook hold on hold on while i'm thinking about it because i'm into to tell y'all this um yesterday actually and it slipped my mind if y'all are not following me on instagram i need all the girlies on here to go follow me on instagram this is my instagram page barbie underscore stacks two e's and two z's y'all so make sure y'all go to my page and y'all go follow me because i noticed a lot of y'all is not following me on instagram we almost a 12k on here but we only got 7,500 followers it's not adding up <laughs> it's definitely not adding up so make sure y'all go to my Instagram page. Y'all go follow me. I'll make sure I follow y'all back, okay? Let's get my Instagram page to 10K followers, all right? I love you guys. I'm about to head out to work because it's getting late and I'm not trying to pay a high tip out. So I'll see y'all when I get to the club. <laughs> So it is 12.46 p.m. And your girl just got home from work. And oh my God, I had to catch y'all up on so much because so much happened tonight. So y'all tell me why T Grizzly came in our club last night, all right? And so for one, I'm kind of pissed off because you didn't even get a chance to see me. For one, okay, because I know for a fact you would have stayed if you would have saw me. And then for two, he came at 12 o'clock. He came at 12 o'clock. Mind y'all, the club opened at 12. When he got there, he saw that nobody was there and he left. Sir, why, for, for one, why would you come at 12 o'clock? Like, there's literally nothing going on at no strip club at no 12 o'clock. Nothing really go down for her till like 2. So why would you even come at 12 thinking the club was going to be popping at 12 o'clock like the club opened at 12 o'clock like i'm just so confused like why did you even think that that was gonna i don't know he confused me with that one but so i was asking my manager and stuff like that i'm like is he coming back he was like i don't know i don't know because he said it was too dead up in here he don't like dead scenes and it's just like yeah but y'all need to let him know why it's dead we not dead like this on no normal day the club just opened tonight was a really hard working night y'all know them nights where you really gotta work for your money for real and don't get me wrong like i have no problem working for my money like i'm a hard worker in general so when it comes down to my money i'm gonna make it regardless if i gotta work hard or not but last night it was kind of like everybody had money but it was like they wanted you to work for it you feel what i'm saying like they had the money i'm not gonna hold you the money was in there but you had to work for it that was the only thing so yeah, I had got picked in this one section, right? And oh my God, I was just so pissed off with that section. They had got like $1,000 and it was only three girls over there. So $1,000, three girls, we would have made at least $300 off that section, right? What pissed me off was they was taking forever to throw their money. And I cannot stand when sections do that. Like just throw the money. Like why are you taking forever to throw the money? So I ended up walking away. I ended up trying to find some other money because they was taking forever. So when I had walked away and right when I stepped down, y'all, right when I stepped down from that section and I was heading to this one section, because I saw they had money. They had like four or $5,000. And I was heading over there to the section, y'all. They started throwing the money already. I was like, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Like, <laughs> damn, I literally missed the money like by a second. 
I ended up going back to the section that I was in and I started dancing. And they started throwing a little bit more money, but like I said, they had a thousand dollars. Why did y'all take it 30 to 45 minutes to throw a thousand dollars? Like that's not no money for real. Like, so they ended up pissing me off, right? <laughs> so y'all tell me why this section ended up coming in, right? And so when the section ended up coming in, I saw the people walk into the section. I'm not thinking nothing of it. I'm like, okay, you know, some people or whatever. And so next y'all know, I'm like, damn, and they look kind of familiar, but I can't really, you know what I'm saying, put my finger on why they look so familiar, but they look like I kind of know them, but then I'm not really sure. Cause mind you is dark in the club and where they at versus where I'm at, they're like across the club. So, so I ended up walking off y'all. I went to the bar to go get me a drink or whatever. And next thing I know, when I was at the bar, somebody was like, ain't you my neighbor? And I looked over to the side. Y'all, why was my neighbor in a strip club? Like what? <laughs> Yo, why the hell was my neighbor really in the strip club? And so when I see him, I was just like, oh my God. Yeah, mind you, we don't speak to each other. Like we live by each other, yes. But we don't speak to each other at all. Like he was like, I was talking to my girlfriend. We was talking about you. We was just like, that's our neighbor. That's our neighbor. And y'all, I was just so irritated because I just, I don't know, y'all. I was just feeling so many emotions. And that's because I don't like for the people that I live around to know I'm a dancer for security reasons. You know what I'm saying? Cool me. Cause it's kind of like, what if one day, you know what I'm saying? You low on rent and you just think, yeah, let me go hit up Barbie crib. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I think crazy like that. So I was just kind of like thrown off. I'm like, oh my God. Like, like, this is not what I wanted at all. So then I ended up telling him, I was like, this is not how I wanted us to meet. Like, this is not how I want us to introduce ourselves. <laughs> he was like, nah, it's good. I ain't gonna judge you. And I'm like, yeah, but it's just like, damn. You know what I'm saying? It's so crazy because I've never experienced that feeling. Like, y'all know that feeling that you experience as, as a dancer when someone comes in a club that knows you and you don't want them to know you dancing? I've literally never experienced that feeling until today. And I'm just like, damn, like, the cat's out the bag now. I ain't even tripping though, because I got a ring door camera on my door. So let anybody come by my door, act weird. I'm calling the cops on you, straight up and down. Like, I'm not playing no games, all right? And especially now that I know that y'all know I'm a dancer, I feel like I'm gonna be paying extra attention now. You feel me? And that's kind of annoying. That's what I didn't want to happen. I didn't want to have to be on, you know what I'm saying? On all 10, like, even though I am on a normal day, it's just like, ugh, it's so annoying, like, ugh. <laughs> and what made it worse, he was like, you want to come in our section? I was like, yeah, cool. Like, I ain't going to turn no money down. Are you dumb? So I ended up getting in the section, and he was passing the wristbands out, y'all. Why he told his friend, I'm my mama, I'm my mama, get my neighbor a wristband. I'm just like, this shit is so fucking <laughs> Yeah, it was so embarrassing. Oh, my God. Like, I cannot believe that happened. And then everybody kept looking around like, who is his neighbor? Who is his neighbor? And I'm looking around, too, like, who is his neighbor? Because, baby, no, uh-uh, no. Mm -mm. Nope, I don't know who know you and I don't know if they know where you live and I don't want nobody knowing where I live, okay? So no, we ain't even doing nothing that, right? <laughs> but they did end up throwing like, I wanna say like maybe like a thousand dollars. It was like three, four girls over there. So we didn't make that much money over there, but we made a little something, something. But I feel like I made majority of my money on the floor tonight because the sections was just too crowded. Like all the girls was just running to the sections. Like every single girl, like it's like you can't even get to the section and the girls is like running to the section. I'm just like, okay, well we not about to do is sit up here and try to beg for a wristband for one and then two compete like i told y'all i'm not a pick me type of girl never was will never be i'm not a pick me type of girl when it comes to pick me i will not get chosen and that's the type of time when it was on last night like the girls was literally like please give me a wristband please 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 and i'm just like ew like have some type of pride about yourself like no i'm not doing that a couple sections i walked away from because them girls was doing that and i did not want to be associated with that that's giving desperate. It's giving your begging. Like, pack it up, sweetheart. For real, okay? It was this one dude. It was his first time in a strip club ever. And he, he ended up getting like $200. And he, he was like, this is my first time in a strip club. I don't know what to do. So I was just like, okay, well, let me tell you what to do, okay? I love running into dummies like you. Yeah, I do. Okay, so what you do is you throw all the money. That's what I told him straight up. What you do is you throw all the money. I'm a dance and you gonna throw everything you got in your hand. That's what I told him straight up. Oh, I'm dancing, whatever. He throwing the money. He throwing the money, y'all. Why one of the girls came from the stage? Why? over there and she gonna tell him uh-uh why are you tipping her I, I thought i told you to wait on me i thought i told you to wait till i get off the stage i said sweetheart mm -mm, we ain't doing that you see he's spending money right step away step away for it get ugly step away i don't care if he had a dollar in his hand if you on the stage why are you worried about what's going on over here that type of stuff right there will get you slapped for real okay if i don't disrespect y'all don't disrespect me period 
But I ended up making him throw all his money, which I was happy about because he was not leaving that section without throwing all that money and I was not playing with him. All right, y'all, so this is what he made last night on a Saturday, so let's do this money count. I do wanna separate this right quick because I got money like everywhere, so hold on. So this is $100, so that's 100, 200, 300, 400, and then in 20s, we got 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60